Hello, my name is Commander Allison Goodman. I'm a pediatrician and epidemiologist in CDC's Division of Nutrition, Physical Activity, and Obesity. Childhood obesity is a serious chronic disease and has increased in prevalence substantially over the past 40 years. In 2018, more than 4.5 million children and adolescents were living with severe obesity. The 2000 CDC BMI for age growth charts do not extend to values high enough for practitioners to use for children with severe obesity. To address this issue, CDC developed the 2022 extended BMI for age growth charts using more recent data on children with obesity and updated methods. These extended BMI growth charts allow providers to optimize care for children and adolescents with very high BMI including those above the 97th percentile. The extended growth charts allow clinicians to track growth, monitor BMI, and work with families on an evidence-based care plan. You can see here that the extended growth charts can allow a clinician and family to visualize their BMI-related treatment successes together. The extended BMI growth charts add four percentile curves above the 95th percentile. These four new percentiles are the 98th, 99th, 99.9th and 99.99th. The new percentiles are distinguished by colored shading. You can now plot BMI values up to 60 kilograms per meter squared. And there's a visual line representing the threshold for severe obesity at 120% of the 95th percentile. Existing 2000 CDC BMI for age growth charts and growth chart percentiles in use for children and adolescents without obesity are not changing. Additionally, BMI categories have not changed, including the threshold for severe obesity. The 2022 extended growth charts allow clinicians to track growth, monitor BMI, and work with families on an evidence-based care plan, which includes safe and effective treatment options such as referral to family healthy weight programs, which are comprehensive lifestyle behavioral interventions. Thank you.